Christmas time in Nintendo World. Holy moly. Nintendo Direct time. We got 10 minutes, guys. All right. All right. All right. So, I have a couple things I want to discuss. Some rumors, some hopeful fantasies. I think my hopes for this Nintendo Direct, I'm going to try to make them as outlandish as possible. That's my goal. Um, so that way, when I watch it, I'm just thoroughly disappointed. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, all right, all right. Yes, my goal today is to come up with the craziest, um, <laughs> the uh, craziest ideas for what this could be, and then um, get thoroughly disappointed. So that is the ultimate goal here. <laughs> um, cool. Great. Great. How close are we? Oh my god, 10 minutes. I gotta keep this clock just sitting here. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. We got almost nine nine minutes, friends. Okay, cool. I'm nervous. I'm excited at the same time. Oh, they even tell us. Nintendo Direct on March 3rd, 2018, 2 p.m. Uh, tune in for roughly 30 minutes of information focused on Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Switch titles launching this year, including new, new details on Mario Tennis Aces. Oh, man, I can't wait. Mario Tennis. Oh, cool. All right, that's fine. All right, cool. So here are my horribly outlandish predictions. All right. <laughs> I can't, these are terrible. Oh, but I can't wait. Okay, cool. Uh, number one. Okay. Number one is... I can't. This is just too embarrassing. Well, okay, so there was a rumor, or there was a thing that came out today that Google was placing banana peels in their Google Maps. So that has to be like, you know, Mario Kart Go, or they're they're just as hyped as i am um yeah M mario kart mobile that's what i'm thinking that's they may say something they probably won't but well, whatever um there was also another rumor about more pokemon stuff on switch like a rumor that this is going to be like the breath of the wild of pokemon games reinventing it Maybe making it open world. I don't know. Um, we'll see. You know, we'll see. Other things. So a Pokemon announcement. That would be awesome. However, probably won't happen. But we'll see. Um, Metroid 4. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of information in there. Um, Game Informer is doing that sweet cover for their 300th episode or 300th thing or whatever um so who knows maybe we'll see um what else we got uh <laughs> so in all likelihood well there's going to be so much mario tennis in here i'm i, I mean it's, it's going to be fun it'll be cool um I'm still undecided if I'm going to pick it up. I never wasn't really of the biggest Mario Tennis fan, but whatever. Um, what else we got? Um, yeah, uh obviously I think the biggest one on the the table right now is um Super Smash Brothers a Switch port. I'm assuming it's probably going to be that. That's going to be the big one this year. Um Probably, probably released with all the DLC, um, which is good. I've got all of my Smash Amiibos still. I had the one on 3DS and it was really good, but uh, yeah. I had it on Wii U for a little bit, but then I got rid of my Wii U. So hopefully we'll get a Switch uh, port of 
um, Smash, and then that way I can buy it again and play it. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Um, very outlandish ones, if we're going there. All right, cool. There were very, very small rumors about uh, Final Fantasy XV coming to the Switch. Now, that is definitely not going to happen. However, Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition, I know it's on iOS, and they've been releasing a lot of phone games for the Switch, um, or mobile games, so why not, you know? I don't know. Horribly outlandish. I'm ready to be disappointed. No problem. No problem at all. I think, um, yeah, no, I think, yeah, <laughs> it's definitely not going to happen, but we'll see. I just downloaded Final Fantasy 15 for PC and it runs fine. I need a new video card, but I can't afford one because obviously, um, cool. What else we got on here? Oh, um, I think we're probably going to get hopefully a little bit more information into, uh, the new Yis game or Wise? I don't even know how to fucking say it. Wise? It's Wise. Uh, eight, I think, is the number. Hopefully, we'll get some more information into that. But speaking of, when is uh, Falcom gonna jump on the Switch train? Like, I need, I need the you know, Legend of Heroes on Switch. That would be like my ultimate, my ultimate thing. Um. So, I don't know. We'll see. Like, Cold Steel, Cold Steel 2, that would be great. Man, if I had Legend of Heroes, like, Trails in the Sky on there, oh, my heart. My heart would be so filled with joy. Um, We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I know they've been talking about it a little bit, especially with, you know, why it's coming out in the summer. But uh, I guess we'll find out. Uh, what else did I have on here? I guess that was mostly it. Um, again, well, for 3DS, what? Yeah, for 3DS, um, they're doing Detective Pikachu. I'm sure we're gonna, we're gonna hear plenty about Detective Pikachu and that sweet, sweet, sexy voice who's playing Detective Pikachu. I can't, I just can't even, it's so, it's so weird. <laughs> the voice actor they picked for that i don't know i'm excited to hear it anyway it'll be fun um oh yeah uh hyrule warriors the definitive edition i'm sure we're gonna hear about um i haven't played hyrule warriors except for um quickly on wii u so i'd be totally down for a switch port of that um uh yeah, I never had it on 3DS, so um yeah, having a Switch port of that would be really cool. I tried playing it on 3DS for a little bit. I've messed with it, but man, the frame rate on it is just like unplayable to me personally. It looks fun and it's just like the giant, you know, Legend of Zelda fan service the game. Here we go, boy. Are you ready? Did you hear my uh my very outlandish uh expectations goals i'll run them through quickly again hopefully in the next two minutes we'll see well a minute and a half okay number one no you're good uh metroid 4 information please metroid 4 information they're probably going to announce the google put up some banana peels in google maps so maybe a mario kart go thing i don't know there are also rumors of a new Pokemon on Switch, and I heard that it's going to remake the series like Zelda did for Breath of the Wild. Um, I think we're all hoping and expecting for a S Super Smash Bros. port, the Wii U game, onto there. And then my very, very outlandish... Um, <laughs> Pokey Switch! Hell yeah! My very, very outlandish... Um, <laughs> thing is seeing Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition the one that's on the uh uh you know iOS right now that would be so ridiculous and kind of hilarious if that was announced today I know right 
30 seconds, boys. All right, what else we got? Mario Tennis. We're going to get so much Mario Tennis today. Oh, my gosh. Final, <laughs> Final Fantasy Switch. All right. Uh, shoot. We are 15 seconds. We'll see if it starts right at then. Are you ready? I'm ready. My body is ready. Let's do this. Let's let's do this. Oh man. Hi everyone. The time has come for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide. I have lots of information to share about upcoming games for Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS. Up first, some Nintendo 3DS headlines. It's the biggest collection in this microgame series. Oh, no way, dude. The latest in the WarioWare series is coming to the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. <laughs> Which means the DS ports? there's a new way That's to right. play Wario's strangely satisfying micro games. With classics and new additions, there are 300 micro games oh to enjoy, <laughs> making this the biggest entry in the series. Press buttons, tilt the system, oh my the gosh. touch screen, and microphone. Only Wario could come up with this many control schemes. Think fast, what playstyle is required for this one? Better figure it out and dig that crazy action while it's hot. Hey, some familiar characters <laughs> are rocking for new the looks. Series bang. This is the most jam-packed game in the series yet. Just look at that face. Oh. Even Wario can't contain his wicked grin. Oh, Wario Lord. Gold <laughs> launches August 3rd. Awesome, great. Get ready for pulse-pounding post-apocalyptic races and battles. Race down enemy grocks and rock them in battle to defend frontier villages. What? Yes, is sir. This? Action meets tower defense in Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers. Oh no! Wait, this is already out, I think, or at least I've seen it. This time, the Red Flash himself, Dylan, Dylan. will team up with your own animalized me character. <laughs> Be strategic and use your whole team. <laughs> what in tarnation? Your friend's me characters can join the team as gunners. This is great. Well, you'll need their help to face each wave of transforming monsters. Who or what will you and Dylan get tangled up with? Dylan. Never mind that. There's an enemy invasion to stop and a frontier in desperate need of some heroes. A demo version of the game will be available for download May 10th. All right. Fun. The full game, Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers, rolls into Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS May 24th. Oh my gosh, Octopath, dude! You're totally right! Oh, crap. Are the brothers and Bowser still better together? So I think Nintendo these are games DS that are already out, so... Mario and Luigi, yeah, Bowser's well, Inside Story maybe not. is back from more gut-busting adventures. Hold on one second. Mario and Luigi have been tasked with finding a cure for the Blorbs, a disease Blorbs. threatening all life in the Mushroom Kingdom. But thanks to Fawful, both brothers have been devoured by Bowser, and so their journey takes them deep into the belly of the beast, leaving Bowser to scour the kingdom for the cure. The only way forward there is to change between the bros and Bowser. Give me the bros! The big bad will even beef up for monstrous boss battles fit for a king. Oh my god! Take him down in this action-packed RPG. And uh -oh. <laughs> looks like his boy wants ridiculous. in on the action. Find out what happens behind the scenes in the untold story of Bowser Jr. When Mario and Luigi, Bowser's inside story plus Bowser Jr.'s journey launches in 2019. Dude, that looks that looks Here's okay. The scoop on Detective oh, Pikachu yeah! plus a new amiibo. Something about this Pikachu is a little different. He's gruff. You agree with me, don't you? Runs his mouth. Hey, don't boss me around. <laughs> like Detective coffee. Pikachu. I have one is as delicious as ever. And no one knows why. <clears throat> Welcome to Rhyme City, where humans and Pokemon usually live in harmony. But Except recently, Detective Pokemon Pikachu. Pokemon have been behaving oddly and running amok. So there's uh -oh. a fake Luckily, a boy named Tim and Detective <laughs> Pikachu are on the case. 
facing each mystery head on. Tim. Are they going to do a Tim amiibo? I hope so. How was that? Did I do it? As of today, the game is available for pre purchase in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. Crack the case with Detective Pikachu when the game launches March 23rd. Plus, keep your eyes peeled for this extra large Detective Pikachu amiibo figure, which launches the same day. Oh man, that's gonna be that's gonna be ridiculous. And that great. mysterious mansion has reappeared in the Nintendo 3DS remake. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mario. Year of the Luigi. Nintendo GameCube classic Luigi's Mansion has been remade for Nintendo 3DS. Wow. Huh. Fans of the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon game can now explore the original mansion where Mario went missing. <gasps> Mario is missing. Luigi's Confirmed. something of a scaredy cat, but these classic ghosts and traps are no match for his vacuum cleaner. This will be interesting Besides, to play. The mansion's map will be displayed on the bottom screen. Man, I can't believe they remade this for 3DS. If you work up the courage, wow. fight the ghosts of your past battles in the new Boss Rush mode. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion for Nintendo 3DS launches this year. All right, cool. That's all for Nintendo 3DS. That's it. Hey, God, put some games, so man. So cool, good. dude. All right. Well, let's keep the headlines coming. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's time for Nintendo Switch. Oh, crap. Kirby can even make friends with those characters? Kirby's Star Allies finally launches next week. As you fight through your adventure, you'll reach dream palaces where, surprise, even fan favorite legacy characters can become Kirby's friends. Well, Aww. dream friends anyway. When you're saving the world, it's nice to have some heavy hitters on your side, even the likes of King Dedede. Meta Knight and Bandana Waddle Dee. Waddle Dee! Eventually, more Dream Friends will be added to the game via free updates after launch. The first update will include <laughs> Rick, Kine, and Whoa. Koo. Alright, fun! Marks. Marks! And Gooey. Oh, gooey. Gooey for life, man. It's like a dream come true <laughs> to bring this ragtag crew of characters together from across the Kirby series. Marks, Kirby dude. Star Allies launches on <laughs> Nintendo Switch March 16th, and the first free update will be available March 28th. If you oh, haven't yeah. played the demo, do it. A quick reminder, a free demo yeah. is available now in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. I played what it. else are friends for? It'll be great for the kids. It's gonna be Epic great for Tale the kids. returns with oh, new shit. artistic touches. Okami. The grand adventure in classical Japanese style no rises way, again man. in the HD version. Thank God! To save the land from a terrible curse, the legendary Okami Amaterasu was resurrected, setting off on a quest with the wandering artist Isu. Dang! Overcome challenges using the power of the gods, the celestial brush. That'll probably be touchscreen. brush strokes, you can make a variety of miracles come to fruition. Wow. In the Nintendo Switch yep. version, use Sick, touchscreen dude. control in handheld mode. Or use the Joy-Con controller's motion controls in TV mode or tabletop mode. Huh. Both methods offer an intuitive way to solve puzzles and defeat your foes. Oh, that's really cool. I know it just came out on Meet PC and I haven't picked cast. it up, so this will be solve cool. Mysteries. I'll definitely get it on and here then. countless monsters to discover what awaits at your journey's end. Okami HD launches on Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch this summer. Awesome. Eat up and throw sushi on Nintendo Switch? An adventure unlike any other. With conveyor belt sushi action, it's Sushi Striker, <laughs> the way of Sushido. What the heck is this? Way the story of Sushido. takes place after the bitter sushi struggles. Raised in a world where sushi is forbidden, Musashi must wage all-out conveyor belt sushi battles to defeat the Empire and topple its sushi monopoly. The gameplay is deep, but the basics are simple. Just eat more and more sushi to pile up plates of matching colors on a table, then throw them all at your opponent. Mix up your strategies to crush your enemies. If you manage to pull off a special move created by one of your sushi sprites, you may be able to get the upper hand in battle. Holy crap, Of course, dude. there's a multiplayer mode too. 
battling fellow Sushi Strikers online can get intense. Oh man! Sushi Striker, <laughs> The Way of Sushido launches simultaneously on Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS June 8th. Oh, it's coming on 3DS too. The Way of Sushido. More travelers, yes, more details, Octopath. and more launch info. Hello. This is Masashi Takahashi from Square Enix. Today, yes. I have three news items to share with you. First, I'd like to introduce two more main characters. Oh. What lies beyond the horizon? Meet Tressa the Merchant. She sets off to find her own adventure and gain experience in her job. Her path action is Purchase which means she can obtain special items from townsfolk. This game is going to be so awesome. I it's helped out someone so in a bind. Simple as that. Apothecary. Dude, this is great. And this is Alfin, the apothecary. <laughs> he embarks on his journey to heal those suffering across the continent. His path action is Inquire. He can warm out info others aren't privy to in standard conversations. Next, Crazy. let's talk about jobs in battle. The music Characters is so good. Characters start out with a base job, but they can equip an additional job to use in battle. What? For instance, if another character like the Merchant Tressa equips the Dancer job, the combined jobs and abilities expand your strategic options. Dude, this is great! Well, it's just like a... Man, that's just like Bravely Finally, Default. We that's know great. many of you have been wondering about the release date. The game launches July 13th. <laughs> Additionally, we will be offering a special edition of the game. Inside, you'll find a pop-up book introducing the eight characters and their places of origin, a so helpful map for your adventure, a sound selection CD, and a replica coin based on the in-game currency. This special edition will be released the same day as the regular wow. version of the game. Your comments Dude, have sick. provided the development team with reference points and inspiration as we head into the home stretch of our work with the game. Please look forward to the release of yeah. Octopath Traveler. Because it used to be like working title Octopath Traveler, like it wasn't going to be called that. That's awesome. What happens awesome. when an otaku assassin enters the oh, game Oh yeah, world? I forgot this is happening. The legendary gaming console. The Death Drive Mark II. Travis Touchdown wanders into the game world and embarks on a rampage of epic proportions. Inside, yeah. there's an action game, racing, puzzles, a total of seven different game titles. With his beam katana in hand, he vows to exterminate every last bug he finds. Is this the next No More Heroes? Chain his simple yet this exhilarating looks basic not what I was expecting. An arsenal of skill attacks to cut them down to size. Huh. A brutal boss lurks at the end of each game. Benedict Cumberbatch is one of them. Did you see that? <laughs> Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for co-op multiplayer. Co-op multiplayer! And up with Dope. The one and only Batman. Did we mention the adventure mode, which tells a new story? Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch in 2018. Cool. That looks pretty cool, man. In Dark Souls, every challenge is an opportunity. Amiibos! Plus, Amiibo. <laughs> Dark Souls Amiibos! Holy crap! Dark Souls. A world wrought with despair and hope. Oh no, dude. In the seemingly endless cycle of death, one clean victory becomes a moment you'll never forget. Oh my gosh. Now you can savor your accomplishments anytime, anywhere, for the first time on console with Nintendo Switch. Holy crap, man. Before launch, there's <laughs> going to be a network test so players can try the game. If this will be your first Dark Souls experience, welcome to a brave new world. Yeah! Separately, right. the Solaire of Astora <laughs> Amiibo will be released. I'm totally buying that! With it, you can perform the popular <laughs> Praise the Sun gesture with reckless abandon. Dark Praise Souls the remastered. Amiibo. And the Solaire of Astora <laughs> Amiibo launch on May 25th. Oh my god, I'm totally buying that. Oh, god, that's ridiculous. How's it going so far? <laughs> well, I have a quick reminder. Oh man. Did you hear that my Nintendo members can now Holy redeem crap. gold points for digital games and DLC oh, on the man. Nintendo Switch system? Just choose to use your points during the checkout process in Nintendo oh, eShop, that was great. Nintendo Switch, or on the Nintendo website. Oh, gold points. Oh, man. I've got like seven bucks more. or something. 
or whatever okay. for that. We have more Nintendo Switch headlines. But first, let's shine a nice long spotlight on one title in particular. Please Tennis. Take a look. Tennis. <laughs> All-Star roster of Mario series favorites is ready to rally. I just can't even get over that Solaire amiibo. That is the coolest thing. <laughs> Could you imagine Mario if they announce? Aces. Okay, so if they announce new, there are more than 15 playable uh, characters, each with their own distinct characteristics. New Smash and Solaire is like on the Nintendo Switch system. <laughs> new character in Smash. <laughs> players to step onto the court together. Today, we'll mainly cover the essentials of the refined tennis gameplay. All right. There's a variety of shots to serve up, like a basic shot, right? top spin, <laughs> Solar and smash, slice, God, I, and a lot man, I over your suck head. at Mario Tennis. Just to name a few. It is one of the most frustrating games ever Why made. Why not aim and then shoot? Introducing the all-new Zone Shot. Dude, Zone Shot is OP, it lets you man. Pinpoint any spot you want to aim at using motion Holy controls crap. and send the ball crashing down. Zone shots are really powerful, so if you get hit by one, your racket will take some damage. Racket damage. Oh if man, I know we need so much more Mario Golf. Forcing you to forfeit if it's your last one. Dude, it's an instant KO. KO tennis, tennis KO. But don't give All up right. hope. You can stop a zone shot with a block. Return a shot with perfect timing, Bam. and you'll block, protecting your racket. Oh, do you see that? Uh, the Zelda. It's no small Breath of the Wild the like timing just right. Stamina That's meter. That's where zone speed comes into play. When using zone speed, the world zone around you moves speed. in slow motion, allowing you to perform okay, well, incredible good. feats. Like chasing down a quick shot. Glad well, no they have a thing card. for that, but. But it makes it a bit easier to block powerful zone shots. I was gonna say, if you had zone shots course, and that was you can't it, just spam man, yeah, zone shots ridiculous. and zone speed the whole match. I'm just, yeah, I'm you assuming, yeah. Energy gauge. By using All right, cool. up some of your energy gauge. Oh the man. Energy gauge slowly fills up the longer you keep a rally going. But the fastest way to fill up your gauge is with the new trick shot. What? <laughs> trick shot. If a ball gets away trick from Trick shot OP. You can jump over what did you see that crap? <laughs> it's a risky maneuver. If you don't judge the timing or distance correctly, you may waste your energy or lose oh a point. No. This looks but if insane. You're successful, your energy gauge will get a big boost. Dude, new eSport right here. Even more than sushi, your gauge. whatever. Go time. <laughs> Initiate your ultimate shot, the special shot. It will eat up your energy in a big way, but this thing can really do time. It may even destroy your opponent's racket in oh, one Oh man. However, this is ridiculous. not even a special shot guarantees a win. This is insane. There's always a chance it could be blocked, so watch out. In these intense matches, every move you make presents a risk. Hopefully, a reward. Your energy gauge could be the key to victory. Will I'm gonna be terrible at this game. Zone shot? Oh my gosh. Or use it for some defensive zone speed. Let's say you go for the zone shot. Will you go for a surefire point? Or will you try to destroy your opponent's racket and run the risk of getting blocked? Headshot. Non-stop, second it was strategies joke. may be the best part about Mario Tennis Aces. Purists mm. rejoice. You can also play using simple rules, which means only basic shots are allowed. All right, cool. I still would. I'm still gonna suck. Once but... you connect online, you can play a match with your friends or other players. When is the paid Events online service online going back up? I gotta look that up again. To compete against other players. Matchmaking is based on your record during the event. As a participation An online bonus, tournament, you dude, that's pretty cool. Or even additional characters. There's also swing mode, which allows you to use your Joy-Con like a tennis racket. Forehand. Backhand, Wii mode. Wii mode. Slice. They push it back to September. Okay, cool. And lock. This mode is perfect when you want to play the game casually with your friends and family, or just get your body moving. 
Oh, Nintendo. I need more blurbs. The game blurbs? Refined blurbs. Tennis gameplay, focusing on deep strategic Whatever that was. Plus, the right. story mode will offer other twists to the good old game of tennis. Just do standing gaming. Just stand up. That's fine. Waluigi, please. Mario Tennis Aces launches June 22nd. All right. Oh, and one last thing. As we approach the game's launch, we decided to hold a pre-launch online tournament. Oh, that man. Way, you can try out Mario Tennis Aces for yourself. Cool. We'll announce I'll probably the details do that. at a later date. Why so not? Please stay tuned. All right. We'll have more on Mario Tennis I did that with ARMS the and decided not to buy it. It's fine. Let's continue with some Nintendo Switch headlines. Give me them headlines! Captain Toad is ready to explore other systems. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is bound for Nintendo Switch. Oh man, more, a more Wii U ports, here we go! Levels ...inspired by Japanese box gardens called Hakoniwa. You can rotate the oh, camera and man. touch the screen for a better view of hidden treasures. And this time, we've included a few Super Mario Odyssey levels too. Oh cool, well that's cool. Now Fun. you can explore locales from a variety of kingdoms. Check out New Donk City! Oh man. By the way, did you know Captain Toad also appeared in Super Mario Odyssey? Yes. The Nintendo Switch version can be played with a friend by sharing a pair of Joy-Con controllers. While one player controls Captain Toad, the other can assist with things like turnip cover fire. So what? You can enjoy tracking <laughs> treasure together. We also plan to release a Nintendo 3DS version with oh, 3D cool. visuals and touchscreen controls. It feels like there's a box garden right in your hands. Oh, that'll be Captain good. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker launches July 13th. All right. Treasure Tracker Toad, day one, purchase. Hey, who turned out the lights? <laughs> what? <laughs> Undertale? No way, man. What? <laughs> hey! Awesome. I never beat it. I need to beat it. I need to play through it again. So this might be the perfect opportunity to do it. Coming eventually. <laughs> That's great. That'll be great. Cool, man. I thought Gaming they were going to announce new crashes. What? Nintendo. I thought Switch. they were going to announce new themes. The impossible isn't possible until it happens. Wait, Crash All Bandicoot. Three original Crash Bandicoot games are debuting on a Nintendo system for Damn. the very first oh, time. No. Spin, jump, and wump through the trilogy's hundred plus action platforming levels as Crash and his sister Coco. Everything from the cinematics Spyro, to the know? animations to the lush environments has been fully updated since the original games, so they'll look this great on cool, your TV man. or on the go. Ruin Dr. Neo Cortex's plans for world domination and save Tana in Crash Bandicoot. Form an uneasy alliance with yeah, the mad really scientist nice. in Crash Bandicoot. I thought 2, it was only coming Cortex out on Strikes Back. PlayStation or whatever. And stop though. him in the evil Uka Uka through a battle across time in Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Believe it or not, wow. the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is officially making the Wump to Nintendo Switch July 10th. Awesome, man. Cool. Never fear, Little Nightmares is almost here. Oh, yeah, From award-winning right. independent Wait. developer Tarzier Studios comes a charmingly horrific adventure like no other. The oh, puzzle God. platformer Little Nightmares will trap you in the Maw, a vast vessel of mystery haunted by corrupted souls. Oh, God. The complete edition on Nintendo Switch contains two haunting tales in one package. In Six and the Kids' Separate Adventures, you must face their childhood fears across all eight chapters, including all past downloadable content. Make sure to play this with your kids. Each room is a cell. Each resident is a threat. God, And both what? present <laughs> complex 3D puzzles to master. I just like how the, the guy doing the voiceover right now, you, you can, can tell he's like Switch doing it with a smile. You can receive the Nintendo Switch exclusive in-game Paku mask by tapping the Pac-Man amiibo figure. What? <laughs> 
Little Nightmares Complete Edition releases on May 18th. Face your greatest fears and your worst nightmares. <laughs> South Park is coming to Nintendo what? Switch. <laughs> We're excited to announce that South Park the Fractured But Whole is no coming way, to Nintendo man. Switch. <laughs> From the creators of South Park comes this outrageously offensive superhero Dude. adventure that you can play anytime, anywhere for the very first time. Customize your avatar. Shut up, Sam. Come on down to South Park and join Stan, Kyle, Kenny, Dude, and great. Carmen's superhero team. Then have yourself a time with a battle system as surprisingly deep as the show that spawned. Oh, nice. Dude, Choose Nintendo, class, man. Level up. Build oh, your notoriety. Time, man. Craft items go on quests, and more. All past DLC will be available for purchase individually or as a part of the Season Pass. All DLC right. 1 Danger Deck and DLC 2 From the Dusk Till Casa Bonita will be available at launch. <laughs> from Dusk Till Casa and Bonita. And DLC 3 Bring the oh, Crunch man. will tell an additional story when it releases later this year. Oh no. South Park, the fractured but whole releases. <laughs> I didn't on know Nintendo they were doing Switch, a April DLC for Casa Bonita. Holy crap, that's awesome. <laughs> Hyrule Warriors Definitive we Edition launches when exactly? Oh my Let's gosh. Take a it's probably for out a release today. Day announcement. The heroes and villains of the Legend of Zelda series are about to spring into action once more. This spring. This spring. Like Tiny Warriors Definitive Edition launches May 18th only on Nintendo May Switch. May 18th? It's like two weeks. I didn't play it, so great. Arms awesome. fans, don't miss this. Oh, yay, ARMS. The ARMS League is pleased to extend an invitation to all you hardcore fans out there who've been playing the game, enjoying all, all the added characters and stages, and I'm going online fun of arms to play fans. the new Party Crash mode. We're happy to announce the ARMS no, US fine. and Canada Online Open. Prelims will take place in the game's online ranked match mode from March 8th to March 18th. Eight top players will then Wait, move on today. to the online finals March 31st. All finalists will receive a custom art piece created by the development team. We'll be streaming the event live from Nintendo of America headquarters on our official site. Stay tuned for our social channels for more details in the coming weeks. And if you're not an ARMS fan just yet, well, we have good news. Oh, good. On March 31st, we'll be hosting a three-day test punch. Download this demo event from Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. The three-day test for punch. Free and see what you think of the world's stretchiest fighting game. On March 21st, All right, maybe I'll download producer it again. Kosuke Yubuki right. will discuss the development of ARMS at the Game Developers Conference. And Hisashi Nogami will present separately on the Splatoon franchise. Oh, so hey. look out for coverage of both. I really wanted that sweatshirt, though. That was pretty sweet. Inkopolis News Bulletin. It's update time. This April, Splatoon 2 is getting an update. Version oh. 3.0 is coming. Here's a brief and briny taste of what's to come. 100 new pieces oh, of gear. Oh, damn. Fresh looks, just in time for spring. I should probably buy this game. Plus, Maybe. More Not yet, dude. It's going to be the surprise. Camp Triggerfish. And the hottest date spot for the hippest inklings. Wahoo World. Yeah, well... And what? Maybe. We'll see. Rank X is here. Rank X is an extreme rank. Even higher than S+. More details are coming soon. Rank X? Once you meet certain conditions, Cali will appear in Octo Canyon. The world of Splatoon oh 2 continues to evolve, so don't miss out. All right. I should probably play Now, that. a I don't word know. from the Squid Research Lab. Check out nice. their latest video. That love, though. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what 
What's going on right now? This song is dope. <laughs> Single player mode? Traveler. Full game. Full version of game required to use DLC. Hello, Squid Research Lab here. So, how was it? Sweet. You just got a sneak peek at the first paid downloadable content for Splatoon 2, wow. a hefty new single player mode, Octo Expansion. Cool. You'll play as the new character, Agent 8 who looks like an octoling. She wakes up on the platform of a dark subway station without her memories. Looks like some kind of shady underground test facility. What? In this massive subterranean world, there are 80 of these test facilities connected by a subway. 80 test facilities. You'll depart from the station with purpose. Or eight. A variety of eight. missions await Agent 8 and her talents. Expect new stories to unfold, shedding new light on beloved characters. You may think you know everything about the world of Splatoon, but these waters run deep, and so does the lore. Escape from these twisted depths, and you'll be able to join multiplayer matches as an Octoling. Is, uh, is GLaDOS this in this? How much more testing can we do? Since Octa means eight in Latin, that means 2018 is the year of the Octoling. Splatoon 2 <laughs> Octo Expansion will launch this summer. After today's Nintendo Direct, Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion will be available for advanced purchase in Nintendo eShop. With this purchase, wow. Splatoon 2 owners will immediately receive Octo-themed in-game gear to use in battle today. All right. Thank you, Squid Research Lab. Hopefully, Splatoon 2 will continue to splatter our expectations. <laughs> you bet! <laughs> Alright! That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Oh, well, actually, we have one more announcement. Oh, crap. Please take a look at our last video for the day. Here we go.
I think that was Breath of the Wild Link. Wow, man, this year's got some got some stuff just just from what was announced. Holy crap. Wow. All right. I need that Dark Souls Solaire amiibo. Can we get some uh you know, Solaire uh you know, action in Smash, please? Because that would be, mm-hmm, uh-huh. Wow, and Sushi Guy? Can we, <laughs> sushi Game? What the, <laughs> that looks awesome, I guess. It looks pretty cool. Um, Octopath is out this year, like in the summer, June or July. I couldn't remember. I didn't write it down right. Uh, Mario Tennis has a tournament, so you can test play it. What else we got here? Uh, Splatoon 2, the single player DLC actually looks kind of, kind of cool, but I need to actually get that too. Okami HD out this summer. That looks really good. Uh, man. Yeah, I think, uh, everybody is, was waiting for Smash to happen before, um, buying the, the Switch. At least everyone that I know, they're like, I'm not going to buy it without Smash. So here we go. I've got all my amiibos ready. I've got my Bayonetta amiibo ready for Smash. I wonder if it's going to come with all of the, um, yeah, all of the uh, DLC or all of the characters. So like Cloud and stuff, like just already built in because I don't want to have to buy them all again. Yeah. So, <laughs> man, that was great, though. Holy crap. Okami HD, I'm definitely buying that. South Park, I'm probably going to buy that. Um, Do you think it's a fully new game or do you think it's a port? Yeah, I mean, there's no way that they would have created a whole new Smash game. I mean, they probably have like more stuff in it um i'm hoping for like additional content um not just like a straight up port um yeah i'm hoping they do like you know stages or you know other modes or something like that new you know stuff like that um whoa smash 4 came out in 2014 oh man is that right holy crap i had no idea i thought it was way later than that i thought it was 20 I guess you're right. Wow. If do you think it's a brand new smash? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. I'm going to have to rewatch that ending thing just to um I wonder, can I just no. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Did they? Huh. Yeah, probably the same engine. I hope so. What if it's like um oh crap um thank you okay cool wow man that was a uh, that was some stuff dude there was some stuff announced holy crap all right well cool i'm gonna i'm gonna quit this i'm gonna be back on later playing something but uh sweet all right i'm excited i'm really excited for dark souls God, that Solaire thing. Octopath, man. I'm so stoked for that. I'm so ready to play it. Yeah, I'll be playing <laughs> Batman later tonight. Later today. Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll see. All right, cool. Thanks for tuning in. I will be back on later today. All right, thanks, guys.